In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Title Pop from Stupid Raisins. Title Pop includes 50 dynamic, customizable, animated titles. Title Pop was created exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the Titles browser under Stupid Raisins Title Pop. All of the animated titles are broken up into helpful descriptive categories. Basic, Continuous, Energetic, Glow, Highlight, and Subtle. Let's take a look at some of them. There are so many animations to choose from. You can see that many of them feature an Animate In and Animate Out. Let's take a look at how these titles work. I'll attach the Dolly title to my clip. I'll go to the Title tab to see all the parameters. First, I'll customize my text, color, font, and size. I'll go to the Text tab and add a small drop shadow so my white text will keep its definition over the brighter spots. We have the option to toggle on or off the Build In and Build Out. I like them both, so I'll leave them checked. The In Dolly Direction drop-down allows us to change how the letters animate in, with lots of different choices. I like Down and Left for this title. The In Rotation parameter allows us to rotate the letters slightly as they animate in. Let's do a subtle rotate in. I'll slightly increase the In Blur amount. We have different options for In Unit Size, Character, Word, line, or all, which would animate the title in by each of these unit sizes. I'll leave it set to character. And then you can choose the in direction. It's set to random, but I'll change it to backwards. The in speed controls the speed change of the incoming animation, allowing you options for constant speed or easing in and out. I'll choose ease both. We can change the speed of the animate in with in duration. In spread tightens or loosens the distance between the units, in our case, the individual letters. I'll leave duration and spread as is. Finally, we have similar parameters for the out of the animation. I'll leave these set to defaults, except I'll change the out unit size to all, so the whole title just dollies away off screen. This title looks great and took me very little time to set up. I'll quickly show you another example. Titles from the highlight and continuous categories behave a little differently. They don't have build-ins and build-outs. The animations loop. I have the nudge title attached to my second clip. In this animation, all of the letters nudge each other in a wave-like pattern. I can control the amount of nudge, which is the amount of lean that the letters make. I'll change the speed to ease both. The loops slider controls how many times the animation will loop through. This inherently also controls the speed of the animation in relation to the length of the title on the timeline. The duration slider reflects a percentage of the duration of the clip that the animation will loop. 100 means it will stop its loop at the end of the clip. Backing this value down will end the loops before the end of the clip. Title Pop is a must-have set of titles which gives you dynamic animations right in Final Cut Pro 10, which usually require a jump over to motion or After Effects. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.